Hey, this is Sasha. Welcome to another episode here for Hungry for Returns, where I answer your trading and investing questions. Of course, check out our website at tradersfly.com, where you can submit a question by voice, and that way we answer your question in detail on video. It's like asking uh, a question and then you get a detailed answer, like a little mini coaching session. Anyways, uh, with that said, today's question is all about day trading options, you know, 15 minutes or so. And uh, I'm going to share with you some thoughts and insights. It comes in from George. So let's take a listen and then go from there. Hi, Sasha. I have a question about how to put time decay on my favor when day trading options. So far, I've been researching and all the examples on the internet teach you how to do the, the sell premium, but in, in, in a swing trading format, like pretty much, uh, you know, in the position last days and once that your option expires, you collect the premium. But like I said, I'm, I'm doing day trading and I would like to know how to put time decay on my favor as a day trader of options. And uh, I've read that it's being a seller instead but, you know, and I've been uh, experimenting with with credit spreads, selling options with a cover call or put and uh, and and some of my tests, time decay is indeed in my favor, <clears throat> but in others it's not. Even though they have relatively the same time to expiration, like two to three days. So I'm a little frustrated. Not sure how to do this for day trading. Not, to, I don't even know if it's even possible. So I was just reaching out, see if uh, you have any experience on it, and then can direct me to the right path. Uh, I repeat it, it's for day trading and how to use time decay on my favor. Day trading, I close my position in 15 minutes, no five minutes, no more than that. Can't leave it to experience. Okay, so 15 minutes, five minutes, that's almost high frequency trading. So uh, let's check these things out. I'll share with you some thoughts and insights and go from there. Usually with options, you're not really going to be day trading that fast or that quick, not five minutes or 15 minutes. So you'll probably hold even for, you know, a two day trade in an option uh, contract, you know, it, that's already very, very short. Now, usually when you're day trading, that means you're looking for price movement. So if you're day trading, for 15 minutes, you're looking for a movement in price. That's ultimately the goal, right? But if you want time decay in your favor, this is how you could think about it and do it. So let's check this out. Um, of course, if you're serious and interested in some more uh, detailed things about option trading, uh, we do have a ton of great courses at risetolearn.com. So check out that website. Uh, but with that being said, let's, let's check it out. Okay. So here, when we look at uh, trading options in general, so if you're brand new to options, uh, here's really what you start with. This is what typically people do is they go ahead and buy a call. If you're trying to buy a stock, hey, I'm going to go ahead and buy a call and uh, then I'm, I'm waiting for that price to move because you're day trading. 15 minutes is a price movement. It's not a time because there's not enough time to really make it from options. So for one, you're worried too much about the time problem when you're not in the trade long enough anyway. So that's one thing to really be aware of is that, hey, let me shake you a little bit. You're worried about time, but you're only in it for 15 minutes. Whereas here, when I look at this trade, here is a Netflix trade and my theta is 16, negative 16, which basically means, what does that mean? Well, that tells me that I'm going to pay $16 per day in the loss of time premium by holding this option contract. So even in one day, if the stock doesn't move, I lose about 16, 17 bucks. Now that's not too bad considering you're looking for a price movement. So in this stock where you're investing 585, if I'm looking for a $10 move uh, in Netflix, well, that's already $435. So right away, I think if you're focused on movement in price, stop worrying so much about the time decay. But if you want the movement in price, how do you do it? Well. Normally, what you have to do is, yes, as you mentioned, you have to sell the time premium. So you could see what happened here is if I sell the call, well, it flips it the other way. Well, let's say I'm still bullish in the stock. How do I get that? Well, I have to flip the other side. In this case, I would have to uh, flip to the put side. And this is where you get the time premium in your favor. So let me back this out to maybe a 250 strike price or even a 270 strike price. All of a sudden now I have a positive theta decay. So you could take a look at that, that I'm making $16 a day if it stands still or doesn't move. So if I'm holding it for 10, 15 minutes, if you're trying to day trade these, yeah, and you want positive theta, 
then you want positive delta, right? And in this case, my one of my bigger Greeks is the delta. So that's the core basics. If you want positive theta, well, you have to be more of a net seller of options or overall a seller of options uh, to get that. Of course, you could buy one in the future uh, out in time and then you're technically a net buyer like a calendar spread. You're kind of buying it because you have more time value in the further month. Uh, but in this case, to start our baseline and basics, hey, right here, you're selling the option premium. And that's really the start of getting your positive theta. And now you need the movement in the stock price. So again, if it goes up 10 points or so, you're making about $312. Now, the problem with this is, of course, you have uh, unlimited loss. This is why people do spreads, credit spreads, and those kinds of things. So how do you protect this? Well, you go ahead and you buy something further down. So now instead of a seller, you buy yourself some protection. And now you have become ultimately here no loss in theta, but still you can trade it um, right here. So because you're getting a positive delta right here, that refers to, what does it refer to? A Any $1 movement in uh, delta or $1 movement in the price, you make $12. So that's how it works. So look at my current position right now. I'm down uh, right here looking at the P&L. It says $15. That's, you know, by the time you start the trade, you're, you're off. So Delta is about 12. So let's say I move this up one single dollar. Well, you should be, uh, now kind of a break even. And you can see right there, I'm breaking even because I've offset this by about a dollar. So you could see Delta is 12. And if I go ahead and, you know, move this up to $2, well, I should be up about $12 right there and so on and so forth. So it's really all based on the delta if you're day trading because if you're day trading and you're selling it in 15 minutes, you're focused and you're looking at the price. That's what you're trying to do. And you need to have, you know, something with positive delta and positive movement um to be able to get that bullish position. Of course, you could do this on the on the call side as well. Uh, for a negative direction, which I'll share with you in a second. Uh, but you need something where you're selling an option premium to collect that premium to decay it faster than the other premium. And the one that you're selling is the closer one. That's why it decays uh, more versus the one you're buying for protection. So to do this the other way, well, let's say I'm bearish on the stock. Well, instead of here, a buyer, well, I'll go ahead and, and sell it, analyze the trade. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and buy one for protection. So here's a 300. And now you've become bearish on the stock with a positive theta. So you're, you're, you're not really losing theta uh, anymore at least. And now you have a negative delta, which means you make money as that stock price goes down. So if it drops 10, you make about $86 on 750. So, you know, 10% or so. So pretty good in, in that regard. So this is how it works. Now, are there more advanced strategies to day trading or waiting for a move with when it comes to options? Absolutely. So what you could do is, let's say here is a butterfly. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So here's a butterfly and I could go ahead and say, okay, well, in this regard, I'm gonna start it out with 295. Let's say that's 285. Let's say that's 305 and don't stress how I'm picking these because that's way more beyond the scope of this video. I'm just showing you the concept. So if you want to learn more, you can of course check out courses, do a coaching session with me, so many more opportunities. But on the scope of how you would do this is if you want to neutralize your theta where, okay, well, maybe my theta is not, um, you know, it's not negative, but it's also not super positive. At least it's kind of negated. It's not something that's part of the equation. Here's kind of a butterfly spread where, okay, my theta is about one. So I'm making about $1 that I'm waiting, right? Because if you're holding it for 15 minutes and you're only making a dollar a day or 15 a day, uh, you know, again, you're, you're day trading. So you're basing it based on the delta. That's really what you're trying to do. So in this case, you've kind of eliminated the theta. So now what you're waiting for is for that stock to pop. And what you can do right here with the butterflies, it's such a small investment, let's say $140. And if you're thinking, hey, it's gonna move, well, your risk is also not too bad because let's say it goes against you, well, you could get out 10 points lower for 33. And then up here, okay, 
you're making, let's say about 26, if it does pop in your favor. So it almost allows you to, you know, hey, I'm risking about 30, $40 to make about 30, $40, right? Let's see how we stack this up for some people. You know, they have more capital just, you know, because um, show you what that looks like. So if you're normally putting on about $2,700 on the trade, and let's say instead it goes against you, well, you're risking about five, six hundred dollars to potentially make about five hundred and fifty eight dollars. So again, there's there's Vega that comes into play here as well. And now you've actually got a positive eighteen dollars in theta. It's another way to play the stock. But of course, you do have many more contracts here. So there's much more commissions and those kinds of things. Again, different story for another time. But what you can see here is I've gotten more of a positive theta and I've gotten my positive delta for a movement in that stock. Because as you're day trading, well, you're expecting positive movement or negative movement. You're expecting movement based on the price. And if you're holding it for 15 minutes, that time value isn't going to hurt you that bad, even if you're a buyer of option contracts. But if you're worried about that, overall, you have to be kind of selling option contracts to get a positive uh, theta. So there's many other strategies out there, but as far as a basic scope, yes, this is the way it works. You have to be a seller of option premium to get a positive theta. And if you're day trading, you need some kind of delta, whether it's uh, positive or negative, depending on if you're positive, you want bullish movements. If you're negative, you want um, bearish movements. And that allows you to place a idea on the stock on which way it's going to go. And then, of course, you manage the money accordingly. So hopefully that answers your question, gives you some thoughts and insights. But of course, check out, you know, the Rise to Learn site more about options, because if you're trying to day trade it, we don't have anything specific on day trading. Uh, it's a good starting point. Now, we'll share with you one final bit of a, uh, advice or way that some people trade these things. And let me just show you right now we are recording this on Friday, but you could do a day trade almost on a option contract uh, that expires extremely fast. And that allows the theta to really, really kill. Um, I don't think I can do it here on um, maybe zero days remaining. But here just to show you, here is by a calendar, which basically means I'm going out one expiration day. Here's October 19th, the 280. And what this allows you to do is by going so far out, okay, with this option contract, again, keep in mind there's assignment problems and those kinds of things. Uh, but what you could do is the same concept where, hey, now my theta is so high and I got a little bit of bullish exposure. So what I could do there is that this thing within a day or so, will continue moving and moving higher and higher. And I've got that positive delta. So now within a day, I'm going to be making about $50 every single day. And if I go ahead and move this, let's say one uh, strike further, you'll get a better insight here. So this is about seven days out. So it'll show you, hey, one day, two days into it, you're really working that theta. So that's the whole point is to get that white line to keep climbing higher. The thing is, is if you're trying to day trade it and you want time decay, now again, it doesn't happen in 15 minutes if you're holding a trade for 15 minutes. Uh, that's the way that it would work. Uh, but here it is right here. So it's the same type of concept is, hey, I could position this. Well, maybe I could position it to 285. And now I've got that same concept where, okay, let me put this trade in right here. And if it does pop, well, I'm positive overall. I'm, you know, creating a winning situation, but my theta is not a huge loss here in this situation. It's still a positive uh, theta, but it's not going to work for too long, right? Because remember that eventually will expire and then you take your little bit of a hit or loss at this point, which would be kind of that green line, negative $24. So that's kind of an interesting way of doing it is to really capitalize on it uh, in that kind of way. And of course, you could go maybe seven days out. It's another another way to just play the movement. Uh, but that as far as positioning it is a whole nother world in game. So here's another approach to it. So you could see this one's a calendar that's further out. But again, if you're expecting a big move, $30, $40, that's a nice way. 
Um, and again, you could say, well, if it goes against me, I'm risking $30, $40. So anyways, hope that gives you some thoughts, insights, probably more than what you wanted to hear, uh, but I hope it's in more detail than what you've been seeing out there. Uh, one of the other ways that I've seen uh, some other traders do it when you're really day trading and you got some serious cash, well, you could go ahead and just really go deep in the money. Of course, you know, that's because you're expecting a big move. And when you're going deep in the money, well, in this case, you're really expecting a fast move and you're really putting a lot of eggs in your baskets for that movement. And But here you do have that negative theta. So that's kind of the best way to get a stock equivalent move because your delta, one contract, remember, controls 100 shares of stock, which basically would have 100 delta. But in this case, you got 90, which is very, very close to the stock equivalent without paying the stock price. Anyways, hope that gives you some thoughts insights and maybe some more things to think about if you have a personal question regarding trading investing options feel free to submit that question on our website at tradersfly.com uh, of course subscribe to youtube by clicking the link over here or join us on our newsletter list as well thanks again and i will see you next time